and Bobcats. It has been a while, but we're finally here with part two of I Want You by Bob Dylan. When it was locked down and I had some free time, I did a lesson for my version of I Want You, but I didn't include the bridge. And in that video, I mentioned the bridge, that there might be a video in the future. And I've had a lot of comments um, asking for this video. So it has been weighing me down for the past three years. And here it finally is. So I hope this means that the um, person who uh, said it would change their life will be happy with this. And the person who said they need this so they can play it at their cousin's wedding or something like that. Um, hopefully this will make a few of your lives complete. So let's get into it. So I won't go into too much detail like the other video. We'll try and keep this relatively short. Um, it's just a bridge after all. And the picking pattern is very similar to what we've learned in the video um, in part one. So hopefully we won't have to go too slow. Let's go through the chords first. We have got um, an E minor to start the bridge. So we come from the C. Um, let's just go through the chords and I'll do the alternating bass. So the thumb is just doing the usual from the six to the four or from the five to the four, depending which chord we're doing. Go back to part one video if you need to check that out. So I'll shout the chords out and do the thumb, what the thumb is gonna be doing. So we've got E minor. A minor. to the verse there. <clears throat> so the picking patterns, you have kind of seen them all before, I think. So let's um, go for the E minor. When I'm singing over it, um, I, like, I kind of keep it pretty simple. If you go back and watch the original video, it's hard to tell what I'm doing at all because there's singing, half my hands cut off because of my excellent video skills and it sounds terrible also. So you can't really tell what's going on. So this is an approximation of what I could be playing. So with the E minor, we have got uh, two bars of that. So I'm just gonna repeat the same thing twice. We're gonna go six string, four string, six string, third string, four string, second string. So we just got the thumb going, first beat, second beat, six, four. And then we've got Thumb, finger, thumb, finger on six, three, four, two. I think in the first video we called that pattern one. So the whole bar is. Um, that thumb, I tend to play it quite hard on the second and fourth beat, so you sometimes get some extra notes. So that's pretty simple. The A minor, because that's in between the singing, that's a little more interesting, um, slightly different pattern. I don't think we did anything just like this in. Uh, part one, so I'll go through it bit by bit. So the first part of it is similar to the pattern we've just done. We're doing fifth string and then fourth and second together. So that's fifth, fourth and second together. And then we've got five, three, four, one. Five, three, four, one. So I'll just do that bar. So that 
is basically the same as the other pattern, but we're ending on um, the first string, so the second string. Next bar is a bit more inter interesting. We're doing um, in between notes all the way through it. So we're going five, two, four, three, five, two, four. And that's thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb. So when I put those two bars together, we get Actually, it sounds pretty cool on its own. That could be a song. So I'll go through that slow. And just the usual point about fingers using thumb and first finger mostly with a little bit of second finger to help us if we need. You can get away with just using your first finger if you want. If you're Reverend Gary Davis. And then the E minor, same again as the previous time, but we can do a little variation by alternating the thumb um, between the six and the fifth string. So instead of just going six, four, six, four, we can go six, four, five, four. And do the same um, with the fingers. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. So that is um, six string, four string, fifth string, third string, fourth string, second string. So six, four, five, three, four, two. So just two bars of that. The F, so the F is the usual F with the thumb on the first fret of the sixth string. And now we're just doing sixth string. Um, uh, then four and two together. Then sixth string, third string, fourth string. That is I kind of ended that pattern early because it could be but probably because I'm changing to the G I've decided there's not quite time for that last note um, someone asked if I'm barring the uh, first two strings with my first finger and well you don't need to for for this in this instance because I'm not playing the high E. If you're playing the high E then you would need to play both but you can get away with just playing the um, first fret of the second string. And then we go to the G. Um, we have got just a normal well, I call it a normal G, the old-fashioned G, like Bob will play, um, which is this one. So you've got your little finger on the third fret of the first string, your third finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and your second finger on the second fret of the fifth string. This just makes it easy to get from the other chords and to get to the seven. So for the G, we've got a similar pattern again. So six string, four and two together, then six, three, four, one.
this is actually, is it similar to the A minor bit? And then the second bar is third string, no, third, um, third fret. Sixth string, still the G, sixth string, then second string, fourth, third, six, one, So we're just in between the bass notes every time there. So six, two, four, three, six, one, four, three. If I put those two bars together, it would go something like. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's very similar to the A minor bit, um, just sometimes higher string and then we've got an extra one at the end there so the two bars again and then we've got the G7 so we'll keep that finger there and the little finger comes down to make the seven note here on the um, third fret of the fourth string and the first finger on the first fret of the first string. So you've got two seven notes going on here, double seven. Um, if I was doing that now, I might do it differently. I might do it like with my thumb on there and just do a one seven note. And I think the pattern is very similar. So we got six string, four and two together, six string, three, four, one. So that's the um, same as the previous G bit. And then we've got the in-between notes for the next bar, um, which is similar to the previous bar. So we've got, it's not quite the same though. Not quite the same. So we've got six, two, four, one, six, two, four. Six, two, four, one, six, two, four. So that whole two bars is. So that was, wasn't too hard, was it? The only bit we haven't really covered is getting into the bridge from the verse, and I haven't really got a plan for that, but it went something like. That's just a C with uh, the little finger on the um, third string of the, the third fret of the first string. Slowly that is. And if you're feeling brave, you can try to alternate the bass. But I don't think, I don't know if I did alternate the bass on the C, really. It'll be. So let's go, I'll try and go all the way through from the top. I'll just do it slowly to start with, shout out the chords. Let's go. So, E minor, A minor, E minor, F, G,
go, we return to the Queen of Spades. And that's it. So I'll try and play it up to speed now, um, see if this is kind of how it was originally. piece there. One more time I'll try and do it the way we've just learned it. that was that was closer thanks thanks for listening thanks for coming back and um, getting the second part down now you can play this at your friends weddings or any other event house parties I just want to say thank you to Anthony Blondo the guy who did the tab for the last one um, which was very useful I think a lot of you have found that really useful so thanks to him and thanks all you guys for coming back and watching this and hopefully I'm going to find some time. It won't be another three years until I do another video. So if you've got any requests, let's let's do it. Especially if it's finger picking Bob Dylan, because that's what I like to do. All right. Thank you and see you next time.